Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out the trailer for the movie Sajan Singh Rangroot. And I'm Nathan. Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. Uh, yeah, this one looks pretty interesting. It, um... It looks like it's set in World War One, just from the little bit uh, I checked out on it. Uh, and I know if you guys are, you know, been... Can you get it out? Uh, <laughs> talk, I sound like Eminem on Rap God. If you're a, no, I'm not. If you're a, a long time uh, viewer of the channel, you know, war, um, specifically historical war stuff, is uh, right up my alley. So I'm very, very, very looking forward to checking this out. But you know what's coming. Before we do, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support on the channel. And if you can, can you guys hit that like and the subscribe button, follow by the notification bell. Bang! Bang. All right. Um, smacked me. Let's get a synopsis time. Synopsis nope. time. Uh, synopsis nope. time. Wow. Dang, that was good. Synopsis time. If you break my chair. Suckers. Oh, my God. If you break that. her antique chair. I don't know. What... She is going to have a oh, pitter patter. That was crazy. All right. Pitter patter, spitter patter. <laughs> what does the white say? Pitter patter, spitter patter on a Peter Pecker. Uh, <laughs> uh, just real quick. It's just, it's real, real quick synopsis. This is a Sikh serving in the British Indian Army is um, deputed to Europe to fight in World War One. Um, so it's... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and check the trailer out, and then we'll get into a little bit of discussion afterwards. What a... Absolutely. Don't take us a job. ठीक नहीं है सुबेदर साहब मैं सारी रात सो नहीं पाया अख बंद करता तो मैं धीरा दिखता शहीद हुए हर फौजी का मूह मेरे अखा मूहे आता सूबेदार साहब जंग की यही सच्चाई है पुत्र हालात तेन जानना पैदा गल हो इतो ही बच सकता है जरा हिम्मत न कम लवे साढ़े डुले खून की कोई कदर भी पेगी रोटी ना दवाई उधर जर्मन की गिनती बहुत ज्यादा हालात बहुत माड़े ने सजन भी मैं पंजाब जाना आप मुड़ा गे ना यार आज कौन खिंच लिया था नहीं थे? गोरे सानु सात समुद्रों पार बर्तानिया लेके जा रहे हैं जीती क्यों जिद करी जाने सचना तेरे पता भी है किन्हीं वटी जंग लगी है एक बार खड़ के पेट्रोल खोना भी तो मौत दे बराबर है क्या पाए जंगे तली जित रही तो अपना देश जरूर आजाद होएगा आप पालू हर हाल जब जंग जित नहीं पहन We must win this war. जे जंग कली हथियार के बंद जीती जाती ना तो बबा बंदा सिंह बहादुर कद सरहद ना फतेह कर पाते राखी ले They're fighting. They're fighting for the the land of those who came and took theirs, basically. 
um, which is very interesting to see stuff like that where they're conscripted into you got the British Empire was you know massive mm -hmm. and then forcing um, the other parts of the world that they you know controlled to come back and fight fight for them I can't even imagine begin to imagine what that was like for the 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 people the people the soldiers uh, that had to do that where you're like I don't even want you here in, in our country and not only that but you're making me go to your area your part of the world and fight for you in your land but when I don't even want you in, in our that I can't even imagine the kind of uh, conflict that goes through somebody for something like that yeah uh, so now that being said just want to talk a little bit about the uh, the trailer itself um, right off the bat, the thing that kind of grabbed my attention was the cinematography. The visuals of the trailer looked really good. They had some very cool shots and like side shots of the soldiers standing in the battlefield with a very, almost like an orange type, you know, tint to the sky behind them. It just looked really almost kind of like a surreal look to it at times. The, um, special effects look like it's going to be okay, uh, but, uh, as far as the, the way that it looked, it looks like it, it uh, is going to be very good in the cinematography department. Um, but from the rest of the stuff in the trailer that we saw, I, I thought it looked like a, a good movie. Definitely one that I would like to check out because I'm a big war war buff. And there's not an, there's not enough, in my opinion, World War One films in general. A lot of World War Two stuff, which I love. I actually love World War Two uh, films and I'm documentaries. Glad you put that in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm films and documentaries stuff like that. But say, it's um, World what? War One. You, that's not as brought up in media and stuff like that is is maybe as as it should be. It's a, kind of like a it's almost seems like it's slowly becoming a forgotten war. And that the trench warfare and stuff like that, uh, mustard gas and the the emergence of tanks and everything in in that war, uh, absolutely devastating. So I'm very very interested to, to check out the actual battle scenes in that movie too as well. I haven't seen 1917. Have that. I'm going to be checking that one out. But as far as this one's concerned, I thought it looked good. I'd like to I check it out. I thought it looked out. good, too. It reminded me of that uh, movie we just watched, uh, Kessery. Is that how you say it? Kess yeah. Kessery. Yeah, I, I guess because there were Sikhs and they had that gold mm -hmm. color on. So yeah. it just reminded me of that. But I thought it was really cool. And how when he hit the guy in the head with the gun. Oh, right his on, his, on his turban, yeah. Yeah, his, like, mm -hmm. his commander, I believe. Commander, I don't yeah. know what you call him. It was like. He like defended him. Yeah, like, like don't hit him. In, yeah, don't hit him in his turban. No, he said you can't. Yeah, yeah you, you can't, can't hit him in his Yeah, and it looks like too, it's gonna have a lot of, like you saw in the trailer, where the the British soldiers are thinking, ah, oh, here here comes the in Indian regiment. They're they're gonna be less qualified. Like he said, do you even know how to handle a rifle and stuff? Just kind of looked down upon and everything, and, mm -hmm. and racist. You know, hopefully shown that uh, in the movie, you know, hey, we're not. That's not, you know, that's not how. That's not how it is. That's not how we are. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how where that that turn kind of comes in. Uh, Troy, you about to start? Um, for Trinity got a sidetrack. It looks like a really good movie. I I really do like World War One, World War Two, and like Civil War movies and all that. Especially medieval movies. They're like there's movies that are about past wars and battles. Mm -hmm. I really like. It looks like it's gonna have some um, uh, heart filled moments. Like I'm yeah. I kind of I'm guess I. It, more people, people have already seen it, but I kind of feel like the commander, the guy with the white white beard. I think I think he's gonna die. Ah! Why do you do that, Troy? Just spoiler alert, Troy. Why did you do that? I think he's gonna die. You didn't have to say that. Not a spoiler if he doesn't know. It's yeah, we don't know. We don't know. I was just saying. But that. yeah, I think. He's but if he does, it's definitely your fault. Yeah. Yes. It How? Is. Just kidding. I can't control the movie industry. Maybe you can. Uh, Maybe they heard Maybe you coming right now. Maybe they heard you and now they're gonna. The movie's it. already out. What are they gonna they're do? Gonna Take it down? They always rewrite it. Yeah, they're re-editing. They're gonna go edit before we see it. Thanks a lot. Again, it was always like this. The version we could have watched. But, uh, Jordan. Overall. I really liked that. I would love to watch that movie. Yeah. And just the mm -hmm. filming, everything looked so fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like even from like the first, when the first explosion went off, that was my favorite part because you see explosion and then it gives you the effect of being like right next to it where your ears ring really loud. Ring, yeah. And it makes you feel like it happened like literally right next to you. And I just thought that was an awesome effect, especially just to put in the trailer. That hurt my ears. And just from that, you gotta just imagine how much more has to come from just the whole movie instead of just like a couple minute trailer. Yeah. And I think it's going to be really awesome and a really amazing movie. Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely agree. And last but not least, Rachel. What did you think of the trailer? Um, I liked the trailer. I want to see the film. Um, it's kind of 
one of those where you want to see the film because you know what you you know what the the result is going to be. We know that the allies won. Correct. You yeah. know that. Um, but at the same time, a, you don't know what kind of sacrifice right. that regiment. And yeah. I have a hard time with this because, mm -hmm. like you said, this was something where they were ordered by their oppressors to go fight for them in another country that did that they didn't even belong to. So that's like an entitlement that the British didn't have, if that makes any sense. When you think of that be like that's like when they made us fight for them in the French and Indian War. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, before America was actually right, before a country. We, before we became free, before India became free, they had to actually go to Europe and defend Britain when they weren't even part of the part of the fight in the first place. So that just that 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 sets off a bothersome for yeah. me. And I and I'll say this too, there was not not saying that um the British soldiers didn't sacrifice a lot because they did. They absolutely did sacrifice a lot in, in the the uh, First World War as well as World War Two. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, the fact of like we mentioned at the start, where you got basically people come in, took over your country, and then forcing you to leave your country to go fight for their country, um, all the way across like you know thousands of miles. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what, what that would what that would um, be like or how you know how you'd feel having to do that. Horrible. That would be like yeah. serious, Rebellious. serious conflict because you've got your family on one end of the spectrum and then you've got, unfortunately, this country that you're, I don't want to say beholden to, but you, you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to, but it's like you've got opposite ends of the spectrum pulling you in two different ways. How, how are you, I wouldn't be, I don't, I, I wouldn't know how to choose. I mean, and you got to deal with all that with a gun in your hand. Yeah. Gun in your hand, explosions going on, Left screaming, right, blood, guts, everything. Crap. Yeah. The commander did give words of advice, like he said that if we win, if we fight this war for them and win for them, we're a step closer to becoming a free. Yeah. That is um, that that is yeah. a mm -hmm. free country. But they didn't they didn't get their freedom for another forty some odd years, I believe. Yeah, because if I do the math right, I might not have done the math right. Sorry. Because mm -hmm. they didn't win their freedom until after the Second World War. Yeah, and we have which World, is bull crap. And World War One was uh, nineteen fifteen yeah. to nineteen eighteen. Yeah, something. Nineteen Somewhere, seventeen. Seventeen. 18, seventeen. Because right. the, the 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 royal family was killed in the in seventeen. Oh, okay. Um, and what what did they what did they say? What was the line at the very beginning of the trailer about talking about the our kids? Our history, our history is what makes us, and our children need to know it. Yes, absolutely. That goes back to that saying. Um, if you don't learn from your from the past, you're you're you don't doomed learn history, to repeat. You're doomed to repeat. Yeah, you're doomed it. to repeat it. Absolutely, history, war, even the atrocities that happened in war and everything, all need to need, need to be, be taught. They need to be taught. People don't need to forget about that stuff because that's how that stuff comes back around to happen again. Yep. And I don't care how like offensive it may seem, or oh they can't kid you know kids you shouldn't be taught that because it's too hard. No, you need to be taught certain things in school, and that's just the way it is. I'm and I'm sorry. It's if that's the reason why 19 year old kids two years ago needed to have a safe space to get over things that had happened. So it's just it's just one of those things where you're like, nah, you you need to do it, or you're gonna end up repeating it down the road. And you, which you know, sadly to say, there's some stuff you can kind of see like, oh my god, but. Um, <laughs> But back to the uh, back to the trailer. Overall, I think we all it, thought it looked good. Mm -hmm. Would definitely like to check it out. Um, I'm not sure if it's streaming anywhere. That's one movie I'm going to go check to see if it's streaming on um, Hot Star them. or who or uh, Amazon. Amazon. But, uh, Amazon. Yeah, mm -hmm. any of them out there. But I have heroes. Don't forget. Um, well, I'll tell you what. You guys let us know in the comment section on Twitter and Instagram if you guys have seen that and what you thought. It had a uh, I believe it was a 7.5 rating on IMDb, That's pretty good. Uh, which is up there higher with uh, with some of the ones we've seen. Uh, but let us know what you guys thought. Uh, give us your review and let us know if it's definitely one we should be checking out. So once again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support on the channel. You guys are awesome. Be safe. Love y'all. Love you.